You guys want to learn real quick on how I play with, with this character? For the next battle. I'll teach you all you need to know. That's number one. It's her best long range move, her fastest as well. For long range, 4 4 2. And if you hold forward, you can do this kick and it's guaranteed. If you hit with the 4 4 2, you're going to see me doing that a lot in the match. If they block it, you know, they can interrupt your options, but they're probably not going to interrupt just yet. Yeah. So it's very important to know what options you have after this, because you're going to be spinning a lot if you're using this move. And the second most important thing is this move, and you're going to be spinning off of that move too. You have the choice to not spin if you hold back after landing it. But I recommend spinning because if you hit, you get a lot of options. You get a multitude of options. So familiarize yourself with the options out of the spin stance. And again, remember that if you hit him with a 4-4-2, the kick is free. And you get a free running up mix-up. So what I usually do is I run up and do this, which goes to another stance. And then I do more stuff. But, um, you know... You can do a lot of things. You can do mids. You can do lows. Like down back two is probably her best standing low poke. It does a lot of damage. So familiarize yourself with down back two. Definitely get used to that. If you need low damage, a reliable low, and you're having trouble inputting hell sweep, this is good. So yeah, off of this stance, the most common ones you're going to be doing are the kick, which is the heat engager. The two, which is a safe, fast attack that will punish people for trying to crouch under the kick. <coughs> if you want to use a low option, she's got three plus four. So that, or sorry, that, it's a that. 1-1-2 one, one, is great because you can delay the third hit. So if they start blocking, you don't have to run the third hit because the third hit is punishable. But if I see that I hit, you have plenty of time to press that third button. And then go into your stuff. What's also cool is that out of the spin, she's got a grab that is that cannot be broken. That cannot be teched. And in a way, it's kind of like a low, because in order to defend against it, they have to crouch. So those are like the main things that you're going to see me doing a lot. Get ready for the next battle. You reach high rank in Tekken 7? Nice. <laughs> Let me know. Let you know I need advice. Ah, I will do. So yeah, if you're wondering what to do and you're like trying to get in on your opponent, it's that 4-4-2 that four, four, moves. Like I said, here's my run, here's my pressure. And now, here's that thing I just showed you. And then combo is combo. So if I see him blocking, I'm not gonna run that third hit. But if I see it hit, I'm gonna run the third hit. Those are kind of the basics to like poking. There's also a down four, one, two. That's a Heihachi specialty. It also engages the heat state so you can run towards them. Very good move. So I'm not even using it electric. There's that low move. Low move. Very good. Low move. Low move. 
And if I got him crouching a lot, no, he's not crouching himself. So I'll still run the low move. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta, oh, 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 oh. So if they block that spinning uh, high kick, you are at plus one frame. What that means is that you have a one frame advantage on your next attack if you perform it right away. So if I do my 1-1, one, one, which is the fastest attack, it'll beat out any attack that he tries to throw out for the most part. Bop, 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 bop. When do I use electric? Uh, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Use it now. Use it now. <laughs> okay, got oh, I was trying to do the throw. I fucked up the input. Oh, wall break. Uh, it doesn't work like Leroy's. Nice, nice, nice. Do it when you think it'll hit, yeah. No option. You can manually spin as well with four or three. That'll fuck people up. So you see me doing the same moves a lot, now you know why I'm doing them. I'll do a hell sweep here. Oh, nice guard. Nice guard, nice guard. What's up, Fab? Are you trying to play? Are you off today? What's your schedule like these days? Oh yeah, I forgot about my low attack. Low attack. Yeah, lackadaisical. Appreciate you gifting this up to my guy, the Finny. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of times people in this game are not, they're either not gonna block low ever or they're gonna block low too much. So if you find somebody blocking all your low attacks, she has a very good tool that's safe. This kick right here, four on four. So notice a difference on how it looks when you hit him regularly. This is a regular way to hit it. And then when they're crouching, if you can see, they kind of get knocked down to their knee a little bit. So if you have good reaction time and you're able to see that, you actually get a free follow-up. That's all free. And it's really good by the wall because the wall you get free follow -up. Yeah. Yeah. let's see if we put for the low attack hold on I accidentally hit the turbo button on my stick low attack is down back two it's good. Yeah. When people crouch too much, it's forward to... That's not the best wall combo. 
it's the most uh it's the more reliable one people do jab into low that's the combo that everybody's doing so keep that in mind when you see that sequence that's what's happening they're crouching they're crouching trying to block my lows That's basically the gist of the spinning stance. You have the kick, you have the mid punch that's safe, they try to crouch. You have the low, you have the throw. You have this overhead kick as well. If they crouch, they're trying to crouch you for too long, you can do this, and if they guard, it, you see at the bottom left it says plus four, which means it does, it's a lot of advantage. And you can follow up. But one thing I want to show you guys, once you're actually in the heat state, if you manage to land one of the when land one of these, you can get a little extra damage at the end by using your heat meter. And that's worth it sometimes, especially if you know it's gonna kill. The way the game works is that all your heat engagers, you can dash out of that if you're in already in heat. So like if you're already in the heat state, like these moves are not going to, uh, you know, do the heat engager thing where they run up. So what you can do instead for all those attacks, you can use your heat to run up and get either follow ups or free hits or pressure depending on if they block or get hit. So I use that a lot actually, if I need extra damage, depending on how I want to manage my resources. So basically you hold forward after doing any of your attacks that are engagers. So after doing this you hold forward, after doing this you hold forward, after doing this you hold forward. And then you get the stomp. Of course the stomp is uh, down 4 and you press 1 right when the stomp hits. And uh, it's even better when you use it in a real combo because let's say this would be your combo. You know, that's a cool combo, does a lot of damage. But if you want to incorporate heat with it, you go ahead and do this burst. I do this move. That's all extra damage. The stop is a just frame. If you want to get the max damage, but you can just do it regularly. The Just Rain version will have blue sparks coming out of her hands, and the regular version won't. Is Reina that hard to learn? No. But yeah, next thing I wanted to teach you about is this dance right here. What is this called? He Heaven's Wrath? Heaven's Wrath does have one attack, the two option that activates the heat state. The two main ways that I'm using or getting to be into that stance is after the sweep, crouch dash forward two, or down forward three, the, the shortcut to crouch dash forward two. So if you want to, so basically, you know, for the spin stance, if you want to do it, it involves holding forward, right? But for to get into this stance, it involves holding down. So you have to keep that in mind. So after you do the sweep, if you hold down, she'll go into that stance. And then also, if you use your, uh, you use your heat smash, which you only have when you're already in heat, and they block it, she goes into that stance. And she has a lot of advantage. Yeah, like Jack, she hold down. I try to explain what the options are in this in this match. Kind of helps me. What do you mean extra damage? If I cancel into the stance, I don't get much damage. Dragon outfit. Dragon off outfit.
Oh, I missed an opportunity to get the free damage. He was crouching that overhead kick. Did you guys see it? Oh, if you use the three to go into split. Uh, I don't use that. I use the actual crouch guy. Oh, he's doing a lot of the launch punch below. Crouching boy. I mean, it's okay if you don't confirm that follow up every time, you know. It's okay if you don't confirm it every time. If you do the overhead kick to try to get that free crouching follow up, it's okay to still do down 401 afterwards, anyways. Because it's like a kinda like a trap. If they try to attack with certain moves, they'll get beat out. There's that shit I taught you guys. Like this. I confirmed it. Let's do it again. And then I didn't. Yeah, he blocked, so. Here's a follow-up I said. It's the kill, so I used the heat meter and burned it. It's very fast paced, but you know, once you get the hang of it, you'll be fine. Let's use my low, because they're getting lower. Can you confirm the heat dash? What do you mean? It's fun to watch this game, but you don't really understand shit. You gotta watch YouTube resources. There's a lot of resources out there for you to learn the game. Get ready for the next battle. She wants to play close range. You can play that range, or you can play a little bit further out. Like I said, when you're out here, this move will catch people a lot of times. But when you're up close, you have a lot of these good folks. Also, when you're here, electric will catch people trying to get in. Right? Oh, I forgot. So anyways, I was talking about this dance, and I was saying how there's a sweep that goes into it, there's the heat smash that goes into it, and then the third way to get into it that I do is throw the punish. I punish with while standing 4-4, and if you hold down after that, you go into the stance. So the options are, again, I introduce you guys to the two options. Which a lot of times is gonna, it's safe. So like when you punish somebody and you think they're gonna try to attack afterwards, like Hell Sweep, you think they're gonna try to attack afterwards, that move will always beat them out. Yeah. One thing that I like to do is she has this move. That's uh, that's really plus a four three four. So if you hold down afterwards, she'll go back into it. And you can kind of like run it over and over and over again. And if they ever attack, this is always going to beat them. Bam. I like that a lot. There's this little low, but it's not a natural combo. So if you need like one little bit of chunk of damage to kill, you can do the low. You can go out of the stance by holding down forward or pressing down forward. It'll go into the crouch dash. So you saw what I was doing, like kind of like that. If he's not going to go and try to attack, you can just reset the mix-up. Bop, bop. Yeah. 
kind of like that. She is really good. Get ready for the next battle. Show my inputs on the screen. Oh, okay, I'll do that after. She does have the low heat smash from that stance. Round one. All right, let's just do what we were doing. This, remember? Oh yeah, this move also goes into the stance. Running four, so four, 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 four. If you hold forward, she has that. That's actually one of the more common ways that I access that stance. What's your go to wall carry out of screw? Uh, I'll four, three plus four, one plus two. I'll show you right now. If as soon as I get a launch, I'll show you. He's not going for it though. <laughs> He's not going for it, man. I'll just show you what I do with this right here, then. I'm about to lose. Not bad. All right, enough teaching. Let's fight. Running move, it's a stance. Guaranteed. I at least started cooking and I was trying to get a combo off the whole time. I'll show you the walk carry now. That was it right there, too. I still haven't showed the wall carry. But there are different ones. He's not running, He's not running into electrics. This one. This one's the best one. Four, three plus four, one plus two. No good, sir. Uh, no good. Oh, crouch dash three, four. Hmm, that's good too. But I think that one I did does more carry. But sometimes it might do too much carry. Stop guaranteed after Sentai 4. Um, I'm not sure. Something might be guaranteed. There's that guaranteed shit I showed you about into the running. <laughs> the cool thing about that stance is when you're in the heat state, she automatically parries all highs and lows. I'll try to show that off. Maybe not. Maybe it's too late. Maybe not. Round two. Fight. This guy's going for it. Oh. 
least perfect inputs. When he's in the heat state, all the perfect inputs are not even perfect inputs. They're just regular inputs. So he attacked after my sweep. You saw that, right? Let's try this two punch. That's the auto parry I told you about. Noob? <laughs> I'm noob, yes. Stop it. Let's try the two. He's known to attack afterwards, you know. Crouch. There you go. I'll burn it to get the damage, even at the score. I'll finish him off with the guaranteed shit. Now he was pretty good for a low rank guy. Round one. Thanks for sharing the knowledge. Thanks for the bits. So, let's review. Do my favorite move: four, four, two. Jab, press a third hit when you see them hit, like that. Follow up options, get used to them. Oh yeah, the Heaven's Wrath, this one also has a throw. So when you do those frame advantage moves, like the running one, you can get the throw. And when they're back to the wall, the throw does actually good damage. Oh, last but not least, uh, if you do a while standing move, while standing one, she'll go into the spin automatically. And from there, that three kick is also guaranteed. Let me try to show you guys. Guaranteed. Round two. Fight. Nice. I mean, throwing out 1-1 one, one is just great. Right? Oh, when you do the overhead kick on counter hit, you get free hit. Electric kick any good? It's, it's good for hitting people on the ground. One. I like it because it looks cool. <laughs> Get hit, damn it. There you go. Look at all that white light. I see the frosting tournament? I did see the frosting tournament. It was cool. 4 4 neutral. I think you mean 4 neutral 3. It is good, but I think that's more of like an advanced thing. Because if you don't really know how to use it and when to use it, it's hard to know when to use it. This move right here, forward, tap forward and then press 3. I see it being a good tournament move. Let's do that low. Never forget this one. I think she has so much good stuff that people tend to forget this one. It's, it's still like really good. It's not flashy, it's not crazy good, but not, not crazy good, but definitely good enough to be used often. That guarantee shit. Bro. Round three. 
If I see them not get hit with a 1-1, one, one, I like to sidestep afterwards. Sidestep and then immediately hold back. Don't forget that. Very important. If you choose to sidestep, you can't sidestep for too long because you leave yourself vulnerable. Like, if I sidestep for too long, he could just run up and attack me. So make sure you always hold back. Kind of like that. You can sidestep and guard at the same time. Kind of. What I was showing you earlier. Boom, into the dash. For our a little extra damage. Let's grab. My favorite grab. And anything guaranteed after the Sentai throw. No. Nothing is guaranteed. Blue Manda using the Prime. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Let's just do what I taught you guys. Boom, boom. Running move. Hold down for the stands. Uh, sweep. Hold down for the stands. Cancel for pressure. Use my bullshit. Use this move a lot. Uh, I got fucked up for it. If I would have checked him with a down 4 one after he blocked that kick instead of going for another overhead kick, it would have been good. Punish. Punish. Yeah, the Lars outfit is pretty good. Looks pretty good. Any chance I'm using Reyna in a tournament? No. I'm just doing it for fun. I'm just... When I stream and when I play ranked and Tekken, I'm not really super serious. I'm just having fun. That's why I'm playing on stick as well. Like, I'm much better on a controller. Cancel it, kill. I knew ahead of time if I hit that little sequence, it was gonna kill. Just because I know how much off the bar it takes. So when he had that little bat left, I was like, I'm gonna go for it. So that's a little pro tip to know how much life off the bar your little strategies take so you can know what to go for in certain times, right? Gotta plan out your moves ahead of time. That was not a bad connection for a Wi-Fi four bar guy. Can I blink at the camera? You, those kind of requests, you know, you gotta go through my OnlyFans. I can only do so much. I'm trying. Round one. I, I'm only Fight. human, after all. Taught you guys that while setting one. Punish. Here's the pressure. Ah, auto parry, auto parry, auto parry. My favorite. Fight. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a combo. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Weak ass combo. Remember when I said the overhead kick on counter hit gives a free hit? I like to do that electric kick there. Smash. 
in the little class and session series, I actually like prescribe homework. So after I watch, I try to teach you guys in like six, seven minutes or whatever, I'm like, all right guys, here's the homework that I want you to do today. You need to go watch the videos, blah, 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 jump up and down 10 times. I thought it was really corny at first when they asked me to give homework. But then I was like, surprised when people were coming back to my channel and chat and telling me that one of their favorite parts was the homework. <laughs> I thought that was pretty fucking funny. Auto Perry. So like, watch the series, let me know what you think. Like I said, it's six parts. Each part's like five to eight minutes. Yeah, Victor got the Vanquisher rank. Congrats, bro. Congrats, congrats. I'm always happy to hear people benefiting and coming up from the stuff that I put out, the stuff that I teach. I mean, the best part about learning and practicing and getting good at the game is being able to spread that shit to other people. I love Tekken. And I love seeing people love it. Believe it or not, there was a time when Tekken was not very popular and I was still you know, loving it just like I do now. But it kind of sucked because I always felt like the game was so great. Why weren't people playing it? And then Tekken 7 came along and everything changed. Everything changed. Now everybody's playing it and it's fucking great. Super happy. No, Tekken 7 was just good. Get ready for the next battle. Tekken 7 is just a great game. And it makes sense to me. I remember Forzen playing the game and I was just in the chat trying to teach him how to fucking play the game. That was pretty fun. Bomb, 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 bomb. I'll burn it. Fuck it. Just to show you guys. See, you definitely, that's why you should definitely confirm the one one. There's that sidestep and guarding thing. It's really strong. Since Reyna is uh, like a woman character, she's like a little smaller. So she's just harder to hit. Just that much harder to hit than a traditional male big ass dude. So when I tap up or down, I'm always guarding and that can help me get out of a lot of situations. Yo, I love The Mask. One of my favorite movies. What you can do to steal this game? Electric, maybe? I'm dead. I'm dead. I should have just went for that electric. Ay, ay, ay. This guy wants his promo. Remember that. When his life is low, he'll block the low. Remember that, kids. Stop. 
big electric. It's always a great way to start the round. Oh, duck here, maybe? How'd you get the full face mask? It's not the full face mask, it's actually two pieces. One is a little mouth guard that's under the unique category. And the other one is in the eyes. It's the masquerade mask. But when you blend it together as one color, it looks like, you know. That's just my genius artistic vision that I have. Guard break. My shit too. Ah, why you do that? Switch things up, hit back. Hey, you gotta do it. That's called making adjustments and adaptation. And I, I like you have to pay attention to what they're doing and what they're trying to do so that you can make the proper changes. I think most average players make the changes after like each game. So, because like when they lose or they win, especially when they lose, they'll be like, okay, I lost because of this. I'll change this next game. But the good players will change things in between rounds. Like, oh, I lost this round. That's is why I lost the round. I'm gonna change this because he was doing this that beat me. And even like midway through the rounds, you gotta switch things up midway through the rounds. It's like science experiment. You're trying to just fucking solve the problem. And the sooner you can, the sooner you experiment, hypothesize. What's the scientific method? You like you have have a hypothesis, you experiment, and then you write the results down or some shit. It's just like Tekken. It's just like Tekken. Bro. 